Hello and welcome back to the Emerald Palace. I'm Bertie Bot. Let's play some more Dwarf Fortress. So a couple things have changed since we last played. Number one is invaders are back on. So here we go. Now it usually takes about a couple seasons for invaders to kick in. Oh wait, I see a story being told. Let's take a peek. Uh, talking about the king, missed him tombs labor. Well, I hope he's not laboring too hard on a tomb. Now let's take a peek. I have built <laughs> quite an elaborate construction. Uh, I'll just show you sort of the walls as well. I've dug in a new river. So this will mean that anything on the uh, never eat east side of the river will need to actually cross this bridge. It does also mean that it's a little bit annoying for my dwarves, but funneling our invaders through this might make it a bit easier to defend. Now, this large keep structure is where I'm housing my barracks, my dining room for the barracks, as well as on the top floor, this is an uncovered level where I have both of my two squads training. I've got a steel breastplate, all kitted out with steel group, and then I've got my marks dwarves who are... <laughs> actually firing over the trading post doesn't seem exactly like I didn't really plan for the arrows to just fire over top but I kind of like the effect actually it means that anybody who comes and is trading with us is in a little bit of danger all the time <laughs> very ideal I think as well we've had a couple more deaths let's uh, head down to the crypt uh, which is on the religious level. Here we are, religious level. Now, almost entirely, these deaths have happened in the tavern. Since I've had the invaders off, the only way people are dying is they're suffocating on their own vomit. Yeah. But I did have an interesting visit from the elves. They sent over a goblin diplomat, uh, which I thought was surprising. Why are goblins diplomats in this society. In fact, if I go to the civilization, uh, we're going to go hit C again. Fail Rama, the loot of friends. We're at peace with them, but their diplomat used to be this goblin and he arrived and told us to stop cutting down trees. And then shortly after that, he went to the tavern and died. <laughs> so his slab is here and hilariously it says, in memory of Nurzug Uxmaxalak, went missing in the year 1054. <laughs> yeah, we know where he went. Some dwarf just got pissed off. It was probably like a carpenter and just punched this guy out in the tavern. I feel a little bad. Uh, right now we've, we're at uh, 165 dwarves. I feel like this is a lot. I've had to kind of organically expand the original design that I did. And so there's just like sprouting bubbles coming off of this uh, dining layer, dining bedroom layer. It's been a little busy, a little busy. Um, and I've finally kind of gotten my steel industry going here. I have steel bars being made. And I finished a full set of steel. I feel like this is one of my very first times really doing it well. Let's see. Yeah, everybody is set up. I think we're still missing a couple bucklers, a little bit of leather handwear. Those leather leather gloves, people are snapping them up before my boys can get them on. So I got to attend to that. In fact, why don't we just quickly create a job. Let's get, say, hmm eight steel bucklers for our boys that makes sense and additionally let's just add leather i think they're called gauntlets nope they're called gloves so let's put little gloves those are the the armor version so let's say eight of those hopefully that does it for our guys i want them to be as equipped as they can possibly be because of course this also feels like my first time not relying on traps in order to <laughs> take down the enemy. I feel like I'm going to be relying a lot on pulling my levers and like carefully managing my bone bolt supply. I should actually probably create some steel bolts. Let's check our stocks. 
Because we are getting ready for danger here. Let's see. Well, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of steel bolts. So I'm going to send a message to get that done. Steel bolts. Let's say create 50. Now in the military screen, I can also peek and see which uh, equipment they're using here. So I might actually take a peek. Long stabbers. I'm going to go to ammunition. Uh, so they're just training with any old bolts, which isn't exactly what I want. Let's take off combat for this. And I'm going to designate a material and say, when you're training, just use bone bolts. And then I'm going to add a second one. Uh, add item, which would be C. I'm going to say bolts again, but this time the material is going to be made of metal. Might as well, because sometimes I do end up buying bolts of different flavors. So metal bolts, combat. Now 100, hmm, I might change that amount because I want them to be carrying as much as possible. I think that's good. The other thing I wanted to peek at in my military screen is supplies. Because I have actually attempted to send out my guys. Whoa. I don't know if you could, the microphone picked that up. Someone just drove by really fast. Oh man, so cool. I'm glad he did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did attempt to do some artifact recovering just to see if, does it work with invaders off? I don't know. But it, they didn't come back with anything. I'll actually show you on the map where I decided to go. So if I hit civilizations, the place that I wanted to go is one of our old forts called Whispered Ink. Now it says that there's no civilized population there. So I, I'm not quite sure. And our queen, once we had a, a goblin queen right before I started the game, who has a since been replaced, but she was a doctor scholar, which I thought was really interesting. And she's written a ton of artifact level books. I don't know if there is anything there. Maybe I'll try right now. I'll send out another. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so she's written a lot of stuff. Prose is masterful. A humble offering to animal development. I'm going to send out another group to see if I can do it. So, hmm, misconceptions about the moving world. The future of diseases of animals. I mean, there's some good stuff here. Oh. Ah, this is it. The dwarf. Suddenly, no one will tell. <laughs> uh, let's test. Let's let's go with anatomy, common practice. I feel like our doctors could really use something like that. So I'm going to ask them to recover the artifact. I'm going to just send my abyssal towers. That's my steel group. Uh, and hopefully that works. I don't know, but we'll do it. You can already see they're launching out. Uh, they are carrying a baby which is interesting. Now, I think I have the version where when the fellows come back from their mission, they end up losing their designation to their rooms. But that's actually less of a problem because my barracks are right here. So it's really easy to find them and like redesignate their rooms. The other error that I was kind of discovering is that these fellows will head out and then suddenly realize that they forgot something and turn back. And so the group essentially hasn't left until all of them leave the map. So let's see if they do that today. It's possible. I have tried to give them enough time to sleep, eat, since the last mission. See, there he goes. He's turning back. What are you turning back about? Fill water skin. Well, okay. Oh, and this guy's turned back. What do you want to do? Store item and bin. Ay. I've got auto butcher turned on, which has uh, been a real blessing, actually. Although I do notice it's kind of derailed my my poultry industry. I used to have a bajillion birds in here, but now I only have a few. I don't know. It seems to be a little bit buggy. What was that last one? Make charcoal. Oh, and I've got delicious charcoal being made. So it is eating through my wood supply quite a bit. I had a, a buffer supply, which feeds into this stockpile, which is closest to the, to the forges. And we go through a lot of trees. So I understand why the elves are mad at me. In fact, has my... Uh, peace with them changed. No, still at peace. The other fellows on the map uh, are the goblin civilization 
and I had a I had a thought that there were humans, but I think they've all died out now. Yeah, no civilized population. So it's just us and the elves and the goblins. And that's not so bad. There's a great little fortress here, a dark goblin fortress of bad spirits, which we could totally take on. And in fact, I think if we started, oh, another story. If we started fighting those guys or stealing their objects, they would end up probably trying to take on us. Ah, the dwarf English miracle. <laughs> we hated English. Why are you talking about that story? They love that story. I actually ended up putting a statue of the poor fellow that died. I mean, all the fellows that died <laughs> on the top of the thing. So here is an exceptionally designed image of the goblin and elves in Rutile. Uh, the goblin is surrounded by the elves. The artwork relates to the appointment of the goblin to the position of diplomat of the loot of friends. I have a sense that we're going to be fighting elves in this current campaign. This is going to be elf fighting time. Which, uh, I don't know, I, f I feel have mixed feelings about. I know a lot of Dwarf Fortress players are very intense about elves, love killing elves, but I really love the animals that they bring. And I don't have the patience to tame animals myself. I love when they bring exotic animals. That is so cool. So we will wait a little while. When they come back, there will be a new yellow report. <laughs> yeah, I tried to get the nuanced beauty, but we'll test this out and see if we can't get something now that invaders are turned on. It may have some interaction that I'm not aware of, but we'll try it out. Also, down in the very depths, in the very depths, Oh, all the way down. Oh, yeah. This is where we've actually increased our position, our stat status. And now we have a duke. Uh, he started as a baron, but he's going up the ranks. Uh, and I ended up putting Deagle, our very first miner, as our lord. Because I feel like if anyone deserves to be at the top of the top of the top, it's Deagle. He dug this fortress, and he still is digging this fortress. As well, someone made an artifact cup, and I could not be more pleased. It is a sweet little cup. I mean, it's only worth 10,000 dwarf bucks, but that's pretty good to me. It's called Spattered Dead, uh, Spattered Dead the Tulip of Alloying. <laughs> pretty good. It's decorated with pine leather, an emu bone, and yak bone, and Porcupine leather. Did I say pine leather? I think I did earlier. Porcupine. Porcupine. Menaces with spikes of dog bone. On the image is Solon Scholard Wheels, the dwarf in petrified wood. Solon Scholard Wheels is laughing. The artwork relates, relates to the fey mood of the dwarf in the Emerald Palace in the late autumn. That was a, one of our first artifacts, actually. How cool is that? And then we've got another image in Larch of Udim Tin Intense. This artwork relates the ascension of the dwarf Udim Tinintens to the position of queen. Very cool. Very, very cool. And he gets some pretty happy thoughts whenever he uses it. Now let's just see. Does he have... He's been mandating lots of swords. So obviously he at least agrees with this idea to turn on invaders. But we'll have to see how this goes. I mean, my abilities to defend are... Pretty low. I could even set up a new uh, marksman group. We've got plenty of leather. We are just drowning in leather. And our steel production, I know it just said down there that we're missing pig iron bars, but we're getting there. It's a slow and steady race. What is this guy doing? Filling water skin? Come on, Sarvesh, you're supposed to be out and about. Ay, ay, ay. I just want them to go. I want to get some artifacts. I really want books because that's one thing we are missing in this fortress. I haven't actually had any visitors as well. I have a suspicion that if invaders are turned off, no one can come. But the other way I can check is if I hit uh, locations, there is like an all visitors welcome tag, which I have all on and there is rooms. I just don't know. I wonder if if you don't have invaders turned on, it just will never send the message. I don't know. I don't know. I really love I love having visitors. I think it's really a cool feature 
to see them interacting with your fortress. I mean, I made that sand castle. It looks so cool. I'm ready for it. So, right. What I was going to say. All the way down at the bottom, past the nobles' quarters, I'm creating a new section of the fort. And it's going to actually be separated because I think I'm going to be broaching the caverns within a couple levels. So I just, I don't want it to touch anything. I don't want any interference. I don't want to have this sort of up-down staircase just penetrating into it because I, I, it's so dangerous. So what I'm going to do is add a lever, link the bridge, and I'm going to skip all the way down to this newest bridge that I've created. And around the time that it's going to get done, I'm also going to dig a down staircase. And it's going to be a nice wide one. I like the 3x3. Three three. It's cool. It's cool. And they're getting going now. Nice. Yeah, the intention here is that if something terrible happens or a far forgotten beast shows up, I can easily just, boom, hit up the lever, prepare my stuff, and then go for it. Yeah, looks good so far. I guess there's no cavern on this level. That's totally fine. Any layer I can use to continue getting minerals is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to dig up down the staircase, oops, with I. And let's go down a couple levels, see how that goes. Now I know I haven't actually linked up this bridge, so I should be, oh no, it did get linked. Holy snot horns, nice. Oh, I love that. Oh man, and I'm loving the fact that now that I've had the clothing industry up and running for a couple of years, I've got like master workers just going for it. Let's dig, boys. Awesome. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm hitting a cavern yet. I wonder, what should I put at the bottom of this? Oh, man, I love seeing that little duke running around. I'm still waiting for the queen, too. I wonder when that's going to happen. I want a, I want a queen or a king to come move in. And, in fact, I've kind of prepared some chambers just up here. They're not super glamorous and glitzy, but everything's made of gold. Except for the bed, of course. Kind of looks funky. Kind of looks delicious. Oh, man. Someone stole this cup again. This is this is the nightmare right here. I wish I could like, really restrict it. Ah, good. Someone's bringing it back. That cup, there's nowhere else that that cup can sit except for right there. Although, if I steal more artifacts, I could have more cups. Ooh, that could be cool be very cool all right let's see what we got boys zippo for newt so i guess i didn't need to necessarily cut off this old level well that's okay i'm gonna keep going down maybe i've just hit maybe i'm skipping a section that sometimes happens when you're digging for the caverns let's go down a couple more levels I'm just going to check R. Nope, no one has shown up. Huh. But the Mace Dwarf is back. Are you guys back? Let me check. They usually like hanging up up here. Nope. Okay, maybe that was just an old, old message. Usually it tells you along the bottom. But since I have so many different... Oh, gee whiz, that guy is just leaving now. hi yi yi Let's see if I get the message now. Yes. Oh, they returned. Huh? Okay. Uh, really? Okay. What'd you guys find? <sighs> Zippo for Newt. Hmm. Yeah, it's not reading out anything. So I think that place may not work. Hmm. Let me go back to the civilization screen. Maybe I need to send them out. Uh, population around 60, around 60. This is a pretty small place, but it doesn't have an artifact. Let's see. This place is small. Like, I wonder if I could just steal this object here. I mean, it's kind of risky for 
one single artifact. But it would make them hate me, which is kind of the goal at the end of the day. The meaning of settlement. I'm just scanning through, untitled. <laughs> but I kind of want to go against the group that originally killed my entire civilization, the Scorpion of Fur. Because I don't like them. <laughs> Before the elf. Do we understand evil loots? We see whiskeys. <laughs> what? Some of these artifacts are so crazy. The elf, my only mistake. Oh my. Hmm. My friend breakfasts. Oh, we need that. We need that. Can I find it though in this entire group? I wish this was sorted by <laughs> like distance away from the fortress. Well, so if we went there, we would go to the same place. They don't really know where it is though. Hmm. I'm going to scan down this list real quick and see if I can't find, oh, another from that area. Location unknown. Hmm. This is a tricky decision because I, I don't really want my first military to just get destroyed. And there's so many artifacts in that old location. That might be an adventurer. High copper boot. Large, though. Sucks. I want something that we can also wear. That would be really cool. But it'd be weird to have one artifact boot, don't you think? Like, just the one. Look how many are at Whisperdings. Oh my goodness. Here's a pineapple opal bound codex. Concerns the forest retreat. Amateur at best. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where all this stuff is. Someone took it somewhere. And we've got so many goblins holding on to stuff. Here's something at the tomb. This could be cool. It's not amazing. It's about a dancer. Why don't we get this one? It's super close to us. It's only like half a day's journey. Let's send our boys. Oh, we can't send the Abyssal Towers. They cannot be reassigned. What if we sent our archers? Worst case scenario, they all die, right? <laughs> Which could totally happen. But honestly, I've sent out the Abyssal Tower so many times, and they've been so disappointed. I'm not surprised they don't want to go. <laughs> and and you know what? My, my poor archer squad, they haven't been training for very long. So hopefully they'll be all right. Now let's see if the bug happened and I have to reassign bedrooms. Yep. All right, so I'm going to quickly reassign bedrooms. It shouldn't take too long because they're all at the end of this list. And at this point, I've almost memorized their names. This little squad. I kind of love the idea that they can live in these little rooms that have everything to hang their armor in. And I haven't actually built our military commander a fancy place to live yet. That might be really neat. <laughs> I'm going to assign this dwarven baby to this room. There you go, little baby. Yeah, let's put the mil military commander there, and then let's talk about let's talk about building him a little little room up here. So now, can I build a wall on top? Yeah. No, I can't quite. I can kind of build a wall anywhere I've built a floor, though. Says that there's a construction presence, so that might actually pose a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Well. I could also start building hammer room on this floor. Kind of keeps him far away from the action though, but it would be very cool. Yeah, that might be an that might be a thought. Cuz this tower, I'm, I don't really have plans for it, but I do have my sort of like guard captain. What's his name again? Uh his name is Stackard. Stackard Lazatlaf. He's my main guy. He's a high master dwarf. And he actually came with the original seven. So I thought he was a good choice. He ended up being our 
a hunter. He was our hunter, and so he just was kind of the the easy one to choose. Oh, I hope those guys don't die. I mean, they're not wearing a whole lot of armor. This might have been a terrible idea, but oh well. Ah, oh, did something happen? No. Nope. Okay. Sorry, for a second there, I was wondering. All right, let's take a look down here, down into the depths. Still haven't hit anything. Really worth noting. What do we got? Schwellerite. Hmm. Let's keep going. Down, 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 down. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this tavern seems to be sort of a death palace. A lot of people dying in this tavern. And when I say a lot, I mean three, but or four. This seems to be a theme. I think because of alcohol poisoning, these dwarves do drink themselves to death. Oh, it's saving. Just one sec. There we go. Back in action. Yeah. I wonder if I expanded the tavern. Although right now, there's really no reason. We've got our basement level. That allows our visitors to sleep. Ah, oh, man. I want those visitors. Hey, the long stabbers have returned. Awesome. Okay, so let's read and see how it went. Hmm, still nothing. Now, if I use the keys, I don't get anything. I wonder, this may just not work because I've had invaders off. It may have sort of defuncted the... Thing. That's really too bad. Oh man. I hope this all ends up working out. Just reassign these poor little recruits. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Someone brought their baby? Weird. I'll put these guys back in a room. Oh, not even a bedroom yet. Yeah. There you go, baby. And pop this one in. There. Done. Should be a couple more coming around the corner. Should see him. Yeah. Can you guys hear that? There's a squirrel on my roof. Oh my gosh. So creepy. <laughs> it's kind of nightmarish, actually. I have to say, fuck squirrels were real cute until one started crawling on my roof. Dislike. <laughs> what is he doing? He's a crazy little squirrel. No, this is no longer assigned. Yeah, man, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> and someone's already like moved in and is eating here. What a brat. There we go. Captain of the Guard, are you satisfied? Oh, make short swords. Yes, sir. Steal short swords. Make it two of those. Hopefully we can keep up with the orders of steel. Oh, I mean, steel is so complex. Oh, I mean, it's not that complex, but there's so many steps to it that it's hard to keep everything in balance. Hey, who is this? Do you see this guy? A diplomat. Ah, <gasps> the new elf. What are you doing here, buddy? Oh, let's follow him. He's going to come and attend a meeting. I bet he's going to attend it with the Duke rather than our mayor. Yeah, he's, he's looking that way. Where are you going, buddy? Where's this kid taking that goblet? Gee whiz. Yeah. Okay, let's head down to the noble's chamber because he's probably going to head straight there. I don't even have a... I don't even have a chair for the the little diplomat to sit in. Poor guy. I have a feeling this is where he's coming, but I'm probably... Oh, here comes the Baron. Or sorry, the Duke. But will he come and meet this? Yeah, he will. All right, so what's this elf got to say to us? You have disrespected trees in this area, but this is what we have come to expect from your stunted kind. Further abuse cannot be tolerated. Let this be a warning to you. Yeah, I feel like this guy's going to die in the tavern, too. Ah, yuck. How does my guy feel about that? He was just talked to so rudely. What is this about proper living? <laughs> he was angry. 
up after getting into an argument. Yeah, I feel you, bro. Proper living. I feel a little upset too, to be honest. So now the question becomes, is this Dwarven, sorry, Elven diplomat? Gosh, what am I saying? Is this Elven diplomat gonna die today? <laughs> Do you hear that? This squirrel is insane. It's like the elves are coming to get me from every angle. Yeah, Baron. Okay, so the elven diplomat has entered the tavern. <laughs> okay, he's, he's just hanging out there. Just being his old self. He's probably insulting these poor dwarves. Now, everything in the tavern, with exception to the barrels, they're made of sandstone. I know it looks like wood, but we were making a facsimile. Facsimile? Facsimile. Facsimile of wood in the tavern. I just kind of wanted it to look kind of old fashioned y. <sighs> but this elf's probably looking at it all, judging, rude. I don't mind going against the elves. They have a plenty of artifacts I'd love to steal. And I mean, there'd be no harm in that, right? Elves. <laughs> I'm so curious to know whether that's coming through on the microphone. That's nuts. This little squirrel's going nuts. Alright, let's see. What's this guy telling the story of? I'm just hoping no one spills the beans about the last diplomat dying in here. I mean, diplomats have been going missing. It's also covered in vomit in there. I think I'm going to leave that until, you know, until after he dies. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the body of the last diplomat, just sitting here in our corpse pile. Hasn't quite degraded away. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's hoping nothing happens to that little, little long ears. Knife, knife ears! Is anybody fighting? No? Good. We did have a brawl earlier in the tavern, and uh, one person ended up walking away with, in crutches. But it was just a good little bit of dwarven fun, I think. And it's a beautiful day out here on the Cobalt Sea in the Saffron Forest. Let's listen to all those color words. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, anyways, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to let this off here and just sort of watch in anticipation as this poor little elven diplomat undoubtedly gets strangled. I mean, someone's already like standing on top of him. I wonder what he's actually doing. He's listening to music. Okay, what about the next guy? Also listening to music. Very suspicious. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day. 